Breaking the Wall of Disability Through the Brain. Montasa Mohamed Alamin, University of Khartoum, Sudan. Imagine while going to your home, you have been involved in a traffic accident. And after you woke up, the doctor said you are paralyzed. That means you cannot move your arms or leg. Additionally, you cannot eat, drink, go to work, or go to the bathroom without help from someone. There are more than 100 million, 150 million paralyzed people around the world. That is about 2% of the population. At University of Khartoum, I ran a project to try to help paralyzed people. But how? Yes, you cannot move your arms or leg, but your brain is still functioning normally. The system takes the brain signal, analyzes it, and uses it to steer to the wheelchair, so that it consists of the brain signal sensor, process unit, and wheelchair. How it works? If you want it to go in any direction, you can move forward, backward, right, left, or stop just by using your thoughts. As you see, just by using your thoughts. To add another level of the safety, the system avoids obstacles. And the accuracy of the system is about 80%. But there is a problem. When you are working with a, with, when you are working with a brain signal, that the equation describes the brain signal differ from one person to another. I'm trying to solve this problem also. By getting universal equation that describes the brain signal regarding of the person using artificial intelligence. This solution can increase the accuracy, reducing cost and time. This project is patented and wins the best student research in Arab University competition. Unfortunately, all this is done by self-funding. So that we are looking for partnership with university, institute, and research centers. Besides that, this system can be implemented in artificial hand or artificial leg. Finally, please, please help us to get a better life for the paralyzed people and their family. Because maybe one day you, are, you can be paralyzed. Thank you very much. Thank you.